Well, hello. My wife and I are visiting friends in the Ickenham area, about 15 miles west of London, and this afternoon I've got the chance to spend a few hours at the Ickenham and District Society of Model Engineers Club. You may have seen my video of the talk I gave here about a year or so back. I know the club here quite well, and several of the members. During the afternoon I will be watching the running of lovely model trains on the raised track, taking rides on and even driving some trains around the ground level track circuit and spending time in the clubhouse looking at the fine model railway layouts in 00 and N gauge. Hi, I'm Warren Brand and welcome to another Linley's video. Let's start here with the raised tracks, including the 45mm gauge 1, the 32mm O gauge and the smaller double O gauge. Trains running today are either track powered electric, battery electric or clockwork. No live steam today, but they often do here. Check out an earlier video on the Linley's channel when I enjoyed an afternoon of live steam running here at the club. There's a link in the notes below. Club members have the afternoon to couple up carriages to form different arrangements and run their trains around the circuit, share ideas about designs and construction and help resolve teething troubles. Most of these models have been made by club members and many are scratch built.
Next is an explore of the ground level tracks and take a ride on some trains. The rails are laid with a combo of three and a half inch and five inch track gauges sharing a common outer rail so that trains of both gauges can run on the line. Points and signals are all interlocked and operated by compressed air. Electronic interlocking with train sensors, points and signals all working together maintains train separation and safe operation across the points. I'm not in chore to drive trains with passengers but I'm allowed to drive a couple of the trains on my own today. Lots of fun.
trains come in so that we don't cross. Inside the clubhouse today, there are several pop-up layouts on display. This is Mike's N-Gage layout with Dave's trains running. Depicting a fictitious English location with Swiss-style trains, it's been on show at the London Model Engineers exhibition. Wakeley's is a local name, but this is a fictitious railway. This is a double O gauge layout built by club members and first demonstrated at the local Scouts Millennium Exhibition. It's quite complex with lots of curves to add a sense of realism. It can be powered by standard DC controllers or run digitally by DCC. There's a hidden fiddle yard with a radially movable deck.
and this layer was built by Aaron Bridges and represents a line in New England around the 1960s. Now then, having a conveniently portable layout can be a priority for some enthusiasts and this layout has taken that specification to the extreme. This is a layout in a suitcase built by a member to be compact and portable. I've had a fun afternoon here. Thank you for following along with me. I suggest you click on either of the links at the end of this video, which will take you to other interesting model railway videos. From the Economa District Society of Model Engineers, open day here today. Thanks for watching and bye for now.